Recluse. I want to talk about some things. I wasn't going to review Recluse, but I do want to. One, there's a loadout and a role for PvP that I'm in love with. It's very strong. It's big brain using all the tools in the toolbox. And Recluse, yeah, Recluse is what brings it together. Crazy good. I hope you stick around for that. But just as important, the main part of the video is PvE. I want to show you where I believe you should be focusing. I took this thing along on a Legend level 50 wave of Onslaught. And if you've used a Legendary SMG in the later stages of Onslaught, they kind of fall behind a little bit. So I want to show you where I think Recluse can shine, what you should be doing with it because I see a lot of things said about it, like, oh, funnel web this and other things, but I, A, don't think it's as bad as some people say that it is, and B, it actually brings something very good to the table when you put everything together. So coming back, previously a PvP pinnacle reward, lightweight 900 RPM SMG, and stat-wise, it's pretty good. High range for a 900, and I have it compared here to some other energy 900s, like funnel web, callus, objective. Low reload stat for these, but the other stats are pretty close. The 13 zoom in the Crucible is somewhat felt it's somewhat a no-no but with how this frame is the 900 the 13 zoom on a lightweight doesn't bother me but more on that later in the third column feeding frenzy enlightened action subsistence threat detector repulsor brace hit fire grip dynamic sway and the final column master of arms target lock frenzy destabilizing rounds surrounded tap the trigger desperate measures pve wise just looking at these perks on paper and the third essentially half of them help the low reload stat right feeding frenzy enlightened action threat detector and in a way subsistence Subsistence is bypassing a reload with kills. And in the Crucible, we have Threat Detector, Dynamic Sway, Hit Fire. There's some things there. And then in the final column, we have Damage Perks. Even though they changed Master of Arms, it's kind of funny throughout the lifespan of this perk because it was a PvP pinnacle weapon that turned into a PvE meta weapon that was good all around. But with this change, when they brought it back a little bit, I think it kind of shifts more to a PvP focused perk. Get a kill with it or another weapon, switch to it, 15% more damage. And that's great for PvP always. I mean, that's Golden Tricorn 1. That's never a bad thing. PvE wise, it kind of gets outdone by Frenzy, by Desperate Measures, and that's okay. We're going to utilize those. But when it comes to PvE, here's the deal. Like flat out, there's a regular Void SMG here that's going to do just okay. It's going to be fine. Like Feeding Frenzy of Master of Arms, Threat Detector Desperate Measures, Subsistence Desperate Measures, or something like this, right? Subsistence Frenzy. That's cool. That's going to be okay. But I think the ceiling for it is meant to be used a different way. Because when you compare it to Funnel Web, I mean, Funnel Web, it's got the Vice Stinger, that longer mag. People like that. It's got Adrenaline Junkie, 33% more damage. You can do some cool things. But for Recluse, it has things that gel together well, and to understand that gel, let's first take like an incandescent weapon. Solar, let's take my precious scars build. On a Solar Titan, Sol Invictus, when you defeat Scorched targets, you create a sunspot. So an incandescent weapon, get a kill, spread Scorch, you down that target, you create a sunspot. And then Solar alone with a Solar weapon, all the fragments, defeating Scorched targets, grants you melee energy, grants you a fire sprite. So think of it like that. Basically, Solar weapon for the Solar kit. So to me, here's the power of Recluse and what I advise you to focus on and then put it all together. It involves five things. One, in the third, it has Repulsor Brace. And why is that important? When you take a look at the other Void SMGs with this perk, Hero's Burton, it's in the fourth column. Tunnel Vision, Feeding Frenzy, Well-Rounded. Then we get to Unforgiven. What's cool about it is it's Repulsor Brace with Demolitionist. And I'm gonna talk about this in a second. So like, this is really, really good. And then we have the title. That's through Guardian Game. So each year it loses, it gains perks. One year, Repulsor's in the fourth. You can maybe pair it with Pugilist. The 22 version didn't have it. The 23 was in the fourth. But this year's, if you got one, yeah, we do have it in the third. And we do have some damage perks here. We have Swash, Surrounded, Vorpal. That could be okay, but with where I'm going, it doesn't do it like Recluse. And you get a small time frame to get something like this. And not to mention, I've always hated the title. That's just a personal thing. I never liked the 20 stability and things like that. But Recluse, easily accessible. Repulsor Brace is in the third. You can get it right now. Recluse has it in the third. So the second thing, since Repulsor's in the third, that means you can pair a damage perk with it in the fourth. And that's Master of Arms, Frenzy, Desperate Measures. But the next three all go together. The Origin Trait, Indomitability. On a light subclass, you're granted grenade energy on kills. And I thought that I saw Chris Proctor say that it grants around 2.5% grenade when you get a kill, but the community is saying it's 5%. Regardless, you get kills with it, you're on a light subclass, you get grenade energy. That's cool. It's like a little demo without having demo. Two, Devour. Final Blows restore health and grant grenade energy. This alone, just how we pair an incandescent solar weapon with like adding more Scorch or Volt Shot Jolt on Arc and Amplify. We have a weapon on Void that when you get Devour, each kill that you get grants extra grenade energy on kills. And we have a weapon that's adding another accelerant of getting grenade energy on kills. And then finally, this is a fragment. Defeating targets with grenades grants volatile rounds to your Void weapon. So this loop right here with Recluse, 
As an example, I took a Repulsor Brace, Master of Arms Recluse through Legend Onslaught. 50 waves, got to the end on Warlock. And this is one example, I'm going to talk about the other two classes, but Feed the Void, Devour on Grenade Kills, Chaos Accelerant, Big Vortex, Remnants, Linger Grenades last longer, Instability, Defeating Targets with Grenades grants Volatile Rounds to the Void Weapon, Starvation, Picking up an Orb or Void Breach grants Devour, Undermining, Void Grenades weaken Targets. So Recluse to me, and again, my advice, is 110% all about Grenade Devour. It is. Because I took a Controverse Hold Warlock, and that accelerates everything even faster. Hits Grant Grenade Energy. The loop with Recluse, Repulsor being in the third, you're going to throw that grenade. It's going to get downs. Recluse now has Volatile Rounds. You're going to get kills on those enemies. You have Repulsor Brace for an Overshield, and you're going to have a Damage Perk to work with all that. And while you have Devour Up, Overshield, kills Restore Health, kills Grant you Grenade Energy. Even more so because you have Indomitability. Now my case is Master of Arms here, but it's also going to be with Frenzy especially desperate measures. With how you can flow with Devour and Indomitability, you can get off some nades and melee. So get to a times three stack for 30% more damage on Recluse. Using that extra damage to down enemies quicker to get your grenade faster because of Devour and Indomitability. But with this one, Weaken Vortexes, it downs them even faster. You get Volatile Rounds, you spread Volatile, you get all those things. The Overshield, it's all working well. The big thing, the Overshield, Recluse doing more damage to down enemies, Devour and Indomitability giving chunks of grenade energy, so you can go do it again. And all of this gels, because if you use something like Funnel Web, when you're close to a grenade, it doesn't have Indomitability. There's no Demolitionist. It's not going to get there fast. Recluse gets that grenade energy because of Indomitability. And the difference now with how we're using this would be between Recluse and Unforgiven. As we talked about, the difference is, yeah, you're going to get your grenade a little bit faster because of Devour Demo, but Recluse has the damage perk with the Overshield. And like overall, the Controverse Warlock did great because it's giving a lot of grenade energy by itself, but that loop alone, grenade, Grenade Final Blow, Granting Devour, Getting Health on Kills, Spreading Volatile, Getting an Overshield, Downing Enemies Quicker to get your grenade back faster, Indomitability, and maybe want to try an old friend. And I haven't taken this through 50, but I wanted to see how it worked. Part of it most light. Severely nerfed, but let's look at it with Recluse. I mean, I changed some things on how we used to run this. It has Bulwark, while I have an Overshield, and remember, Grenade Final Blows, Volatile Rounds, Overshield, you get the Overshield. When an Overshield is up, the grenade recharges significantly faster. Controlled Demolitionist, hitting a Void ability makes them volatile. I have Persistence for longer durations of Overshield and Devour, Remnants for a longer lasting Vortex, and Stability, of course. Defeating enemies with grenades grants Volatile Rounds and Starvation. Picking up an Orb grants Devour. So like on all these classes, you're gonna have a Void Siphon to have Orbs. That means you can grab Devour on demand, which means you're gonna get kills and get your grenade faster and you're gonna throw that grenade. But with Heart of the Most Light, one ability empowers the others. You get a faster regen on the others. Your melee and grenades do more damage. It brought me back a little bit. It was super fun because with Heart, throw the shield, drop the barricade, throw the grenade, whatever way you want to do it. But at some point, you're going to have Devour and an Overshield. Two things for your grenade. And then Indomitability getting kills, granting grenade energy. Like, it worked great. And it's accelerated because of Recluse, because of its origin trait. And a little bit is a lot when you start stacking accelerants in big chunks. Like, Recluse is giving the overshield, all the controlled demo. Like it worked really, really good. But on Titan and Hunter, they don't regen quite like the Void Walker. An option would be to put one or two innervations, picking up an orb, grants grenade energy. And like that alone, coming to Hunter here, grenade final blow, devour, volatile rounds, overshield, get grenade back. Like the loop works with Recluse. And I was using Foe Tracer with Hunter, getting the grenade back or throw the smoke on something, a four times surge on Recluse or better yet, bait and switch edge transit. So in the end, like we can compare it to Funnel Web and all the others that we want, but the real focus I believe and what I found out is right here. And Recluse does this the best. It's that fragment with those five things I talked about. So look for it, try it. You're looking for a Repulsor Brace with a damage perk, preferably desperate measures with how fast you can get things to flow, but also Frenzy or Master of Arms. And note, there is Destabilizing Repulsor, but you're taking care of what Destabilizing does because of the Fragment giving you Volatile Rounds and Devour giving you the Grenade Energy back to keep that loop up. For the Crucible, there's just nice combos for it. I don't mind the 13 zoom for how this thing's used as a lightweight. I mean, there's things like Threat Detector, Tap the Trigger. Like a lot of SMGs have this. I call this like one of the Bob Ross rolls because you can just paint on them, easy, just precise. Stable. It's like you're drawing on them. It's crazy. Those were fun. But again, I found that the winner is Repulsor with a damage perk, just like PvE. And specifically with your Falcon. Like at first, when I tried this with your Falcon, I had a Wii Ran. Go invisible, come out of invisibility, you get volatile rounds, you down them, you get an overshield. But this time with Recluse, it's with a damage perk on top. Master of Arms. So first game went well. 
combo felt great. You know, you notice the little things about the sub, like Stylus Executioner, come out of Invis, get the kill, go right back to Invis, can see around me, I can go do it again. Really, really good. Having a damage perk on Recluse made it a ton better. But as I went through it with how the loop was going, I was like, well, why not this? And with this, it is super good. I'm addicted to it. That loop of Jer Falcon, volatile rounds, getting it down, repulsor brace, giving an overshield, why not pair it with that snapshot discord succession that I talked about? Because check it out. I thought, what if I were to do your Falcon things as I've been doing and having a good time with, get it down and overshield, have true sight, use that true sight to switch to my discord sniper rifle and start discording it. See them through walls, easy headshots, not lose ammo. And let me tell you, awesome, just awesome. I've actually saved a loadout of it because I like it so much, I'm gonna keep using it. And again, yeah, it's Recluse. And with this combo, so Snapshot and Discord, two sources of a modifier to your aim down sights, very, very fast. Like on this enemy right here, it is nuts. But again, I found like Recluse allows this to be complete because I'm gonna be doing Jer Falcon things no matter what. But with Recluse here, with its perks, I get an overshield and I now have the choice to search for enemies far away with my sniper rifle. But if there's another one right in front of me, I have 15% more damage with an overshield. So yeah, I think Recluse is pretty good. You have to break it down a little bit different. And it's also how you just view build crafting in general. But I believe the power of it, what you should be looking for overall is indomitability with Devour. That's its place. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. We got a big week this week with Forbearance and Blast Furnace. So I can't wait to get those. I already have over hundred tokens to start getting some rolls. We're gonna deep dive into those. But today it's all about Recluse. What I wanna leave you with, like, a lot of people talk about Funnel Web and Vice Stinger and all these things and other Void SMGs. I'd look at what I'm doing with Devour and Dominability with the Fragments on Void and then compare it to those others. They do not do it like Recluse. They don't. I enjoy it. It's something to keep in mind. Look out for it. Thank you for watching. And until the next one, I am Cool Guy.